Hello, I'm Jack Flanagan. I'm running for Congress in Congressional District 2 for New Hampshire. I'd like to thank Chester TV for having me. A uh, little background, I've served locally, that is as a selectman, school board chairman, uh, vice chairman of a cooperative school district. I served on finance committee. I'm now in my third term in Concord as a state representative. I am currently the vice chairman of the labor committee in the house, but prior to that, I was the majority leader. The reason I'm running is that we, our current Congresswoman, Annie Custer, has been ineffective on a number of issues in Washington, D.C. A couple I'd like to talk about today is, one is terrorism, both foreign and domestic. For me, uh, it went from shock to anger. Uh, recently, we had a priest who was killed. We've had police officers shot and killed. The Orlando, Paris, uh, Brussels situation. Uh, things are falling apart, and we need a change of direction. And unfortunately, it, what it will mean is that we will have to form, uh, excuse me, uh, make our borders more secure and also look at our H-1B visas. Uh, they are much too lax, and I think what we're getting are people in our country that shouldn't be here. The economy. In New Hampshire, I am very proud of the success that I helped achieve as majority leader. Uh, we have a balanced budget. We have less regulations. We have increased surpluses. We went from $8 million to $100 million in surplus and we basically made government smaller. D.C. needs to do the same. Uh, I would save Social Security and Medicare uh, by balancing the budget. Uh, in 10 years, the second largest expense in the federal budget will be interest on that debt. We could, if we have balanced our budget, we could take those monies and use it to prop up Social Security and uh, Medicare uh, without making any changes. Now, if we want to make any changes, that would certainly be in the, the possibility. Um, the, uh, there are many other improvements that can be done to the economy, um, uh, block granting to reduce the size of, of government, uh, but those are some of the things that I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, veterans. Um, currently, um, we need to provide better care for the people who have given the most to our country. Um, that includes expanding the choice card. Uh, currently, the veterans can use a choice card if they're a certain number of miles away from a VA hospital to create more uh, competition with the VA which I think will improve the VA, we should be allowing veterans to, to go any place they want based on the best uh, uh, treatment that they can get. Another area is the mental health portion of the VA. Um, I just sadly heard a, another a vet that had committed suicide. We're seeing one vet every hour committing suicide, and that's unacceptable. Uh, one thing that I want to talk about, too, is opioids. I'm pleased that the state legislature established our heroin task force. Uh, that task force came up with legislation that not only changed um, the education for our kids and the people in the state, but also treatment for people that are already addicted. But finally, the, um, the uh, arrest of drug dealers. People may have heard of the Granite Hammer, and that was basically to fund police departments over time to do more investigations to find these dealers and basically put them out of business. Um, I'm glad to see Congresswoman uh, Custer is also following our lead. Uh, in Washington, she's also heading a task force similar to the one we established in Concord. On the same note, I'm glad to see she's uh, now uh, not supporting the Kinder Morgan pipeline. I was the, uh, the first person, first elected official, I believe, that came out publicly against the pipeline. And the reason for that was that it was the wrong project for the state of New Hampshire, and it wasn't going to lower costs uh, to, uh, to our electric uh, producers. In conclusion, uh, there's no problem in Washington, D.C. that we can't solve by sending the right person there. And I'm that person. Um, I did it in Concord, and I, I can do it in Washington, D.C. I ask for your vote in the primary on September 13th, and certainly hope for it in the general election on November 8th. Thank you very much. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can go to www.flanagan4nh.com.